we are going to be doing an unboxing of the two terabyte hard drive. So this is two terabytes, and uh, I got this today. So let's I kind of opened it already, but it's not the point. Now we have two laptops here today. We're going to be testing something on that laptop, and uh, I'm showing you in a second what that will be. But first, let's unbox this. So here it is. Just the box. So this is what it looks like. So it's a WD two terabyte hard drive. You can see right here. Now let's open this. It just comes right off. And then we've got the power cable right here. And then we've got a construction manual, or not construct a user manual. And here is the actual hard drive itself. So um it's a bit heavy. It is two terabytes. We can peel this thing off. Nice and shiny. Satisfying. And you've got, it has these little grips. I guess that's for obviously knowing why that's for. So now let's turn this laptop on right here. Hmm, I should probably give it some air. Let's use this Pringles thing and then this to close my tripod box. And then there we go. We'll put it on top of this laptop here. That will also work. So yeah. Now the second thing that we are testing is this stick of RAM. So uh, yeah, now I actually have the announcer join me for this, so it's going to be later, so like 10 minutes time. So yeah, let's unwrap the power cable, listen to what this sounds like, so let's plug in this thing here, like that, and get this and then plug it in. Where is it? Here it is. Come on. Hear it. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at this. Let's have it more over here. Put all this stuff away. So here it is. This is what it looks like. Is it zooming anymore? Yes, it does. Perfect. Didn't think that would line up so perfectly. This. There we go. Okay. So we got all kinds of stuff up being up. Okay, we don't need to log into Steam right now. Oh come on, what is all this stuff? Stop it. No. Don't need it. So yeah, uh, let's see. What? I opened the internet. Oh wait, we don't need the internet. Okay, never mind. Oh, okay, here we go, it opens. Blank page. What? Come on, freezing the page. Okay, YouTube works now. Good. 
And there was something with like when YouTube didn't work before, but now it works. Okay, so uh, let's see. Or Windows. Okay, so what do I do here? Okay. Let's see, does this work? So we're just going to see if this works. Ah! Tripod got caught on it. What is this? They don't need this. Epic game. Go away. Load. Good. So, what is this? Okay. Okay, install. Um. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, what, what is all this stuff? Oh, okay, good. It's installing. How do we get rid of this? We go now, maybe. Okay. okay. Finish. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's see. There is. Um. Here we go. So can you just put stuff on here now? So let's see, can we make a new folder here? New folder. Okay, then let's put videos. Videos. There we go. Let's see now, can we put things onto here? So let's go into games. Go into, uh, where is it? Um, Okay, so edited. So can we put these? Don't do that. So can I put this, for example, into here? What is all this stuff? Go away. Okay, no, go away. Good. And get this stand ready for next thing. Okay. So now let's get this thing booted up. And about these though, I will be having to do stuff here as well. So we need to make sure that there's like a little vent down here where the CPU is, that's where the air comes out. It's on the back here, here is where the fan sucks the air in. So right here, like this uh, cage thing. And then under here, there's like a little vent, where is this o OMG thing, that's where the CPU is. Okay. Now oh, this is a perfect slope. Okay. There we go. 
So let's have a uh, okay. do the mouse for this because you know. Oh, it looks like the video just went over. Let's see if it opens. Also, I'll be uploading um, more. Okay. So now that we've got this thing working, go around the outside, there we go. Okay, so right now the, um, come on, here it is. So this is the, um, CPU right now. You can see it. So yeah, now it has um, the CPU is at one gigahertz clock speed. Like the original clock speed, is, well now it's, it's going all over the place. So you can see here how the clock speed is going. Of course, on this one here, it's um, much larger. Oh uh, well, uh, the performance. Let's zoom this out because we don't need it to be zoomed in that much now. Okay, there we go. So of course we've got both laptops running right here. So yeah, two laptops next to each other, perfect. So this one's at 4 gigahertz, and it, the, the normal speed is 2.30 gigahertz. This one is um, 2.16 gigahertz, and it's on a uh, about 2 gigahertz, an average 2 gigahertz. I mean, this is old, this is a dual core, and that's a quad core. Uh, so, this has 4 gigabytes of DDR3, and this is also 4 gigabytes of DDR3. And there is two, you can see it, there's two um, uh, sockets, which means if we turn this off, Put another sticker of RAM in, which is this, it should have 8 gigabytes of RAM. And see how well BeamNG runs with that. So uh, let's do that right now. Let's turn this uh, computer off. And then, there we go. Waiting for this to turn off. So now let's see how this is. So I'm going to open this and see how this is like. So it's nice and blue. I really like it. You've got these little circuits here. Stop touching it, your greasy hands okay. will short circuit the thing. So now let's take this off, because this thing always falls off. Put it there. Now let's unplug the mouse. Put it over there. Uh, let's close the laptop and flip it over. So now we are just going to um, take the screws out, just like we did in most other videos. Also, let's get the tray. Where is the tray? The tray is down here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Oh yeah, the cleaning video. You can take these messy things out of here. So yeah. Screw that you missed.
Ah, uh, thing stuck to me. Okay, and there's just these left. And it is taking a bit of a long time, but it's part of taking it apart. And I. In the beginning of, um, when I was trying to take this apart, I thought of using a magnet. But then you will destroy the hard drive. Exactly. Okay. I mean, the hard drive wasn't on, so I would expect it not to, uh, destroy it. I mean, it's definitely gonna mess with the arm. Let's see, and then there's one more screw. Doesn't want to come out. Oh. Is it like some kind of magnet? Yeah. There it is. I don't know. There it is. I just have to unscrew a bit more. There's no other screws. Okay. Get all these little screws. Put them into here because we don't want to lose any of these. I mean. There's already pins holding it in, so I guess I'm not too scared. So if I would lose, also there's so many screws. I don't think like that necessary. No, I don't think it's really needed. There it is. We just need to take out these things here. We've got the mouse, and we've got the keyboard right here. There we go. Okay, this is off. So now let's put this upside down somewhere like over here. Oh wow, screws are gone. Crazy. Let's take this out so that it's not in the way. Okay, so now we can okay, start the disassembly. Good. The RAM should be on the underside of the motherboard, meaning we have to take the whole laptop apart. So let's start with the extension card with the power button. Where? In the top left. So this. Oh, I can't see. I don't have a camera on it. This thing here? Yes, that. Okay. So I need to remove this and remove the hard drive and then hopefully... Also need to detach these because like I think there's something to do with the battery here. So only let's... unplug the battery from the motherboard um, to cut the power. Do this. Put the thing into this corner. And over there, and that corner is gonna be the black screws. Okay, there's a screw here. Okay, and there's another screw right there. Not the screw. So, I already did the hard drive. Let's try and undo this. Okay, that's the, that thing here. The screw on this. Unscrew it. Don't know if we need to take that out, however. We might be because there's like a thing over it. Okay. We got this thing out. Okay, this thing comes right out. This is where the SD card goes. We need to do that. Okay. And we need to unplug these things here. Let actually zoom this in so like. You guys can actually see what's going on. Zoom it in like this. Okay. Okay. That's one thing unplugged. And there's another one here. These are just easy to unplug. Okay, good. Uh, now what it is, there's still a screw here. Okay. 
Okay. So will this thing come up now? So we just foam around the thing. Ooh. It comes out. Oh, what is this? Screen. Yes, you may also remove the screen cord. Okay, that's the screen. There's some weird coating for this. I think we need to remove that though. Okay, so this thing comes off. Let's take the hard drive off as well. Okay, so here is the hard drive of this thing. Wow, this is really a strange feeling. Just put it down carefully. Don't want it damaged. Oh wow. Ooh. Oh, I see it. I see the RAM. So where's the other RAM? I don't know how many things this has. I think it's on the other side of this. So let's see if it goes in. Wait, no, this thing opens up, doesn't it? I think it does. Let's see, let's unplug this thing. Hmm. Okay, it's, I don't know what that is, but it's really plugged in. Oh, that thing just unplugged. Okay. Now we just need to unplug these. We just have to unplug these. Oh, there we go. Okay, so right now the motherboard has completely been removed oh, from good. the computer, so right now this is empty inside. You can see that's where the CPU is a bit dusty. It's really dusty, I mean. That means we can add the RAM, and I can go so do it quick. It has been half a minute. Take it out already. There are two pins oh. on the side holding it in. Oh. Then where's the other thing? I didn't see that anywhere. First, let's take this out and put this in. The right way. Yeah, that's the right way. Okay. So now let's put it back together. 
and see if this works or turns on. Because I'm kind of, I'm wondering if it does. I mean, it should, because it is RAM, after all. Right, so how we did this, so we did the thing where we got this side, plug in this wire here, Okay, and then we got this thing and then plugged this in as well. Okay. Good. Plug that in. And then we lower this down. Okay. Sticking it down is important. So we got this stick of RAM right here, which is the original RAM, and that that is a that turned up over there. I mean, this isn't wasn't even turned on. So okay, okay. So I need to plug in the hard drive. Oh, also, let's get these things on here. Not plug those in yet. I still need to buy a CD drive for this as well. Actually, I have to buy a CD drive for both of them. Ooh, I'm to scratch up the others on the surface. Okay. All right. Uh, now let's get this and put this back as it was. Like this. Okay. There yeah, and then that. Okay, now we need to screw that down. Let's screw these in. Actually, let's not screw these in, because we're going to be taking them out anyway to take out the RAM. Because we're just testing. I mean, this laptop is sacri can be uh, sacrificed for this test. Oh, really? If it breaks and I just take the hard drive out, go to a specialist, get all the data off it, copy it to an external drive, or yeah, I might as well just get everything that's on here, copy it to that, because it's two terabytes, this is one terabyte. Then so do it now. Have any more space than what is on there so but it's still money this is about 200 pounds this laptop i mean today it's about 300 pounds now but back then this was a really cheap laptop because right now people are buying it for parts yeah that's right sure someone needs a selfie run n2840 plug in this Uh, let me actually get come back when this is done. Okay, moment of truth. And it turns on. When it comes to, like it goes no into the boot menu, or at least it's booting. I see.
All right. Uh, that booted up really fast. Um, okay. I just exposed my password. But guess what? No one wants to steal this. Because this is slow. If they do, they will I mean, bring it back crying. RAM, it's fast, but still, you probably know what I mean. Oh, you keep forgetting. I'm used to this laptop now. I forgot that something happened to the um, thing. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, yeah, it works just fine. Because, remember, this is the original stick of RAM that I used in this computer. And it works, it's fine, it's compatible. So it's DDR3, of course. But yeah. Pretty nice. So now let's have a look how well BeamNG Drive works on here. And, scrap this. Never seen this before. Huh. Something like this. What oh, that was, was me. This? Oh, this is the thing. Oh, so you downloaded this and you didn't even tell. No, not fine. I mean, I don't need this laptop anymore, so I guess you can have it. I rather die. My Pentium 4 is faster than his chipped. Yeah, the Pentium. Yeah, that's right. Pentium 4 is better than the Celeron. I mean, it's. It was probably as hyper threading, I know that. So, uh, let's boot up something like. Oh, where is it? Actually, yeah, let's go on to BeamNG Drive. Okay, so, uh, we had some difficulties with s storage on um that my phone so now i sorted it out i didn't swap things back still have it here still green and now we're going to see how well how fast it is in loading in and uh i don't know where the second slot is i guess i just missed it but oh well We're going to see if we can find it. What is this? You're using an Intel GP. Lee's. Lee's Oos AI Errant 1. 2 I Rho E R 4 and E. What? Gibberish. Let's see. Per or an E. Orning. Error orning. What the heck is that? Let me. Let me show you this thing real quick. What does that mean? Like, it's, it's saying something, but I don't know what it's saying. Let me take a picture of it quick. This. This is weird. This is just the definition of weird. It's stupid. I don't know what's going on with this. I mean, it's probably the graphics card, not the RAM. I mean, I think it did this before, but it's because it's so old. Who I mean, knows how this has ended up like. I mean, the menu is definitely loading faster, so... It's because this is so old. This is about seven years old. That one's about two years old. So I guess that does make a difference. In that, let's go to default location and see if it works. Also, while that goes, oh yeah, here is this thing. Close this. No, I don't want that. I don't know what that is? Okay. And then eject. Um, 
been in use. But it's not okay. So close that. Okay, now we can do this. Do that. Okay, I'm kind of warm. So what I can do is I can save all kinds of stuff on this videos, and then um, I can uh, go to, uh, we can take, I might not take this to school because this is quite, oh, the thing loaded in. All right, let's get the menu up, which is this, and then here it is. It's currently at. Right now it's at this. So let's turn the volume up. It's working, it's definitely working. So, um, it does work. So, um, uh, yeah. So this works fine. So you know that. So, there we go, that's how this is doing. It's doing pretty well. Now, next video, we are going to actually be putting that into the new one, the, the new uh, laptop. So, that is over there. So we'll be putting into that, and also we're going to be cleaning it out, because let me show you something. At the bottom of this, you can see how dusty that already is gotten. There's two fans in there. It's really dusty. You can see. And it's overheating, so either way we have to do that. Now, actually, let's take this thing apart one more time and see if we can find that second slot. So turn off or shut down, and then yeah, get the thing to be on the components. Ooh, don't, don't clip it in. Okay. We can detach these again. Okay. Okay, that is good. Take out this CD drive thing, or this bit of plastic. Makes you believe that it's a CD drive, but it's not. Oh no, the screwdriver fell down. Okay. Zoom out a little bit. We don't need it to be zoomed in that much. We might not even need to remove this, because it's not really in the way. So I guess... We need to unplug these. Okay. Oh, I just forgot about this thing. This okay. Uh, 
Okay. And we need this thing over here as well. This thing right here is so tiny that it's real blessed and you have to unplug it. that there we go. We can unplug it. And now we can do this and this. Now this thing comes out. I don't know. I don't know. We can't put this into here. We'll put it the other way around. It just won't go in. I think this is just one. You try and plug the other one in, it's not going to fit in. Yeah, there's definitely no space under this. Yeah, like this. No. They think there is one. So there is one socket, it just said there's two for some reason. I don't know why it said that. Here's the CPU. The CPU is right here. It's like sideways. And we've got the um, cooler. The heat sink. That's what it's, they call it. Well, I guess we just have to take this out now, and then put in this. And there's nowhere else where there's a RAM thing to go. So I guess the computer lied to me. About having multiple. What happens if you don't have time? I'm just curious. This is just it will turn on, so but we'll try this. But I'm just curious. What happens if there's no run? First, let's plug in these.
Okay. Plug this in. Alright. We've got both sticks of RAM right here. Okay, I guess. Alright, is that everything? Yeah. That's everything. Got the screen for all oh, of oh, these. Almost forgot about these. Let's see. The fan turned off. I mean, I guess the RAM. Hard drive stop. Hmm. Okay, so the screen didn't even. T I think that's what it does. But it's still on, however, so I don't know. Let's unplug this. I think it just does that. I think it just doesn't turn on. Hmm. The way it's still now, I don't know why. It just is. It's just power to that. So that's what happened, basically. That is the power thing. But the hard drive wasn't on, so it didn't do anything. Okay. Hard drive out. Take this thing off. But there we go, that's what happens if there's no RAM inside your computer. Like this. Like this. Well. Okay. Can I go now? I take that as a yes. Oh, 
Bueno, muy bien. Oh, there we go. So that's really all it takes. So it's just that. But now that is going to be probably it for this video. So I'm going to plug this back in and see if the video is still on there because it'll be some time. Oh, come on. Where is it? Here it is. Why is it not going in? There we go, it's supposed to be the other way around. Properties. And there it is. So it's 1.81 terabytes. Mm, okay. Well, it's not full 2 terabytes, but it's still something. So, uh, yeah. Now that is going to be it for this video. Let me zoom the camera out so you can see everything. So now that is going to be it for this video of uh, doing stuff with the laptops. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And the laptop is still working, so that's good. And I still have the RAM, so that's good. So that's gonna be it. Bye!